Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome back to another Railway Empire video. I thought I'd give a shot at another um, uh, scenario. So since we kind of finished up the Civil War, let's go back and revisit the Reconstruction. It's now moved ahead to 1870. After the horrors of the Civil War, the South's railroad network and economy are in ruins, and all signs point to a great de economic depression. Sorry. However, this is only one side of the coin, as this is an ideal investment opportunity for the shrewd and financially powerful businessmen from north, or I guess from the north. And it's considered a medium difficulty, and we all know medium is not necessarily easy. So let's give it a shot here. Got two million bucks. We're starting in St. Louis here. And let's see, just to put a perspective on it, looks like this goes over to maybe Cleveland. That's probably Charlotte. That's maybe, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Augusta, Atlanta, Jackson, Memphis, Nashville, maybe, Knoxville. I'm guessing. All right, sorry, two million, St. Louis, three competitors. That's locked in. We're going to make them very hard. And let's go. Are you a man or a mouse? This is no time to hesitate. Now, I think... <laughs> Meticulous planning. Have to talk to According you. to my calculation. It doesn't matter what... We'll just wrap them I all think around I'll, I'll, finger. I'm, I've said this on one other one, I believe. I'm getting partial to having this 20% discount on my locomotives and all the auctions. Especially those auctions can save you a bunch of money if you're going out and buying stuff. So let's play as the trickster and see how that goes. The war wasn't so right, long ago, and the devastation is still a major problem, especially in the South. The economy isn't gaining momentum, but that is exactly the chance for smart business people to invest there. Perhaps you are one of them. And packages. Aha. Okay. All right. Let's stop. We just wasted six days. All right. So here we are in St. Louis. We have a regular sized train station. We have meat. We need to get down here to grow either Memphis, Nashville, and Jackson, right? Memphis, Nashville, Jackson, right. Okay. So Memphis is straight ahead and they have ta da beer and they have wheat nearby. Excellent. Nashville's over here with meat and cattle nearby, so excellent for them. We've got cattle nearby in St. Louis if we want to grow our own city. And we've got a good one over here, beer in uh, Columbia, and I think. Let's see, it's meat, meat, beer way up there. Beer way over here, kind of irrelevant. Okay, Jackson has beer as well. Now, this one will be a little tougher. Beer to beer line would be a little tougher. But I think this one could work well. St. Louis to straight to Memphis. Memphis to Nashville can certainly work well. And then we would have to figure out a way to do Jackson. Maybe pumping a lot of... Uh, these look like wheat fields. Are there no wheat? We've got wheat fields without wheat here, it looks like. Hmm. Beer and beer and beer. Yeah, and unfortunately our competitor in Jackson is just driving beer into the beer, beer, and beer. So that's not going to work very well. And I, I wonder if something's wrong here. Or maybe you're going to come up later. I don't know. He's got a station on what looks like a wheat field, but there's no sign of wheat. Interesting. All right, so I think I think what we have to do is drive straight to Memphis and get that going. That, that's for sure. Now we it looks like we've inherited some track here, a little Bermuda Triangle kind of deal, going tunneling through and coming over here, and going down this way. So I think somebody's trying to influence us to build like a 
line here and a line here and look what that looks like a three city cluster to me that really does look like one doesn't it uh hmm but i think the most important one is here to here and here to here and then we may actually have to do like nashville to jackson rather than memphis that might be better to get the meat all right all right all right sorry i don't mean to bore you to death with all this but you got to think about these things think about how you're going to do these things so i would like to we need a two million dollars all right let's see what it looks like to run track <clears throat> ugly bridges in there. Oh, gross. Okay, run track. And then run track from here. To Memphis. And in Memphis, we're going to have, have to hook up Maybe the wheat. Let's see. There. Yeah, probably gonna have to hook up the wheat and corn. Corn would be great. Corn would be great for both of them. We can run corn back and forth. I don't see building warehouses here. We don't have the time to build warehouses to get this, and it would run out of money too fast if we try to do warehouses. So I'm thinking logs okay logs anywhere here's good logs okay we can run logs back and forth memphis and um, jackson to give them a boost corn memphis and tenant and nashville that would be good run meat over here we can still run logs to nashville if we want to we can run sugar Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, we're going to need a large station in Memphis. Memphis is going to be kind of a critical spot for us. Okay, I'll have to do. And thanks to, um, oh, I've forgotten the name. Man, I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. Um, one of our watchers uh, pointed out to me, asked me, do I like using the control when I'm doing um, the switches and I never really thought of it. You just go like this and hit the control key and it automatically spaces out, out signals for you evenly uh, in the space that you have. I, that's pretty nice, to be honest with you, and I've never used it, so I'm gonna try to, t try to get in the habit of using it. It's pretty nice because the spacing of them looks perfect I think we can do a little passing lane that wouldn't cost a fortune right through here. Got one bridge to deal with and it's probably gonna mess us up. Yeah, we're just gonna have to let that be dead land. Okay, and we'll do a double track here on the other side. Well, we've already got one, do we wanna use it? <sighs> no, no, we may use that for something else. Tower. 
That's a long line. We'll need a tower right after that signal. And then we'll use the fancy key to put in beautiful, beautiful, isn't that lovely? And we want to run a line and we want to run, we don't have enough money to build multiple lines. So we're going to have to run our bald one and run it as an automatic line. Between here and here. And we want, uh, now we're in a new age. These are faster machines. Let's run, let's still run six. That's a long line. Let's run six. We'll run three in each direction, three from each direction. One, two, three. And now let's go from here to here. One, two, three. Okay, that gets us that one. Now let's get over here to Nashville. And I like it actually coming from here better. So we're going to run Nashville out of, I think out of this one. Kind of like so. And let's give them a, yeah. Give them a large station too. I like large stations. And we'll use the second one. Let's save this last one up here, the highest. We'll use two and we'll save uh, one for goods coming in from up here, like that meat and some logs. That looks good. Now, I forgot to do it on my first one. I will do it on this one though. I want to emphasize packages because we have a long-term goal to do a bunch of, bunch of packages. Okay. Tower. Set our directional signals. Do our incredibly slick control key trick. Beautiful. And let's run four trains there. Here to here. One. Two. I said I'd do it, and of course I didn't. We want priority mail. Priority mail. Priority mail. Priority mail. Thank you. Three, four. Now let's go to, uh, where is it? Jackson. And meet up with our competition here. Have you really not got the message that your station has no future here? Third one, we've got some stuff coming in from over there. Uh, 
that's a long one. <clears throat> and let's use our little trick. Oops. <clears throat> go we're all set <clears throat> and we'll run uh, I guess six more here and here priority mail priority mail okay one two three two let's Borrow some money. Three, four, five, six. Now to grow Memphis, we want to immediately run wheat. And we have a nice little bridge right here. And let's just, uh, let's bite the bullet. Let's do a large one here. Corn, corn, corn. We merge. We cross over and we check our signals. over and we check our signals. Beautiful. Okay, what else can these guys use? Sugar. We merge. 
we cross over. We check our signals. logs they need logs and we need money so we get uh, 100,000 we'll put in logs here and run it to these two cities uh -oh. I must have forgotten the signals I surely did <clears throat> maintenance in Memphis right away and a tower right there right there and did we get a tower here we did not now I wish I'd use the uh, build your towers close to your city method I didn't we just missed the tower there. Great job. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. And our little trick. I'm, I'm really got to think about this to do it. Auto signals. Auto signals. Auto signals. Didn't it do it? Okay, that took care of that problem. Memphis is growing at 91%. That's pretty good. If we get logs in there, we'll be in really good shape for Memphis. Sorry, Rock Island, we can't afford you right now. We have other things to do. We merge. <laughs> we cross over. We check our signals. You're, are you seeing a pattern? I have no idea where this reporter might have gotten his information. Guess what we do? We merge, we cross over, and does anybody know what happens next? We check signals, and here we don't have a signal. There we go. beer guy they could use our corn so we could
Beautiful. Conditions are starting to hit. Between I waited too long. Quality fuel, incompetent staff. This one can get everything except the one going up here, so we'll put maintenance up here next. I wish I could afford that, but I can't afford to put a business in there. A sawmill or something would be nice. <clears throat> now we got textiles. Uh, where's cotton? Cotton, cotton. Shoot. There's cotton over there. Good deal, that'll work. What's the problem? Too long intervals between maintenance, poor quality fuel, incompetent staff? People no longer have to haul their goods, and you earned some money in the process. Isn't that splendid? I'm just going to run the cotton right through Nashville over to Memphis. Stay away from me, and we'll get on swell. Okay. Okay, they're doing great. Jackson sucks. They need corn and meat. Oh, 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 oh. Nashville's doing okay. We need a line from Nashville all the way to Jackson. And that little line is not, there might, we went in here, came out there, I don't know, this land just isn't that bad, we don't, we don't, we don't need to detour, okay, one, two, three, Oh, that looks good.
I won't begrudge you this record, but the next one belongs to me. One of your connected cities has reached a respectable size. Good, good, good. I've pulled some strings to see whether anybody wants to switch sides. You have transported more mail than hundreds of stagecoaches could manage. One, two, three, four. Oh, we've already done our 10,000 packages. This isn't a locomotive, it's a scrap heap on wheels. Nashville, we could build, we need, do we need to own industries in this? Own 20 of them, my God, yes we do. All right. Mm. 
Good luck. Oh, they already put, put one in there. Turkeys. But I had already connected that bomb. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Accidental. Okay, he's getting logs and he's corn, meat, and beer. Corn, meat, and beer. Hopefully we can get meat from there. He has beer, good God. Corn, corn, corn. Okay, Jackson's clearly a problem. Trains are no problem. We have to expand and we're going to start buying stuff. Okay. Alright, at this point, it's just kind of more of the same. We're buying, we're expanding, we're running stuff. We're trying to make sure that we get that meat down to Jackson and uh, make it grow. <clears throat> Nashville's growing fine. We've already knocked out uh, Memphis uh, for growth, so I'm just going to speed it up for a bit and move us forward a little bit. This is this is all. This would be a very long video if I showed you the whole thing.
All right, at this point we have finished our first uh, set of objectives. We're off to a great start on the second set. We're just expanding and we keep expanding, connecting to stations that, that uh, are not on our network so that we are connecting to more and more people. And then at one point we actually decide, okay, let's stop expanding and just grow what we have. So we start doing a little bit of basic uh, city growing where we have some good um, meat, beer combos up north. We really did it mostly up north, even though this is supposed to be in the south, but it didn't, didn't seem to matter to me. It seemed to me like uh, people were people and uh, growth was growth. So uh, we found some, some low-hanging fruit up there, some good combos that we could use, and we used them. So I'm going to fast forward it again, and we're going to look at, it gets a little interesting when we decide to uh, start buying out the competition. All right, now we're ready to look into buying Don Lorenzo. So we're going to use one of my and favorite tactics, which is pay off our bonds network. so that we can get ever bigger bonds based on our new company value. So you keep getting your debt. You keep using that debt to create a bigger, stronger company, making more money than you could ever pay in interest on the bonds. And then you close out the bonds and get bigger bonds. So here we're looking at how much is it going to cost us to buy him out. We don't quite have that. But we're going to go back and take a look now at the um, at the bonds we have open. We're going to repay repay both of them. Then we're going to take out nice big bonds, and that's going to give us enough Another money to come very close to buying him in one fell swoop. So we get a nice big 80% well. share of him in one one gulp, and then we all we have to do is wait to find out. Okay, how much is the rest of it worth? And we just wait until we accumulate that cash. So we're just going to speed it up and wait. And we've got a money making machine now. We've got lots of lines running. We've got we've got passengers, mail, and freight moving all over the place to reasonably sized I've cities. Not, not big, but reasonably sized you cities. Mind, They're all making good money. So all we have to do is wait for that uh, money to come in. And we just kind of keep playing the game and keep, keep up with our um, research and, and employees and what have you until that money rolls I in. I know the problem. Those damn hot water pumps. And when we get a really good combo of employees like that, we give them the caboose, which then even boosts their uh, ratings even more. It gives them a boost on their <laughs> boost, so to speak. And uh, I haven't really done the math to figure out exactly how that works. I typically do it when I have three good ones together or two really happy ones. Um, but uh, eventually I'll, I'll, I'll take the time to actually figure it out and say, when should you really do that? When do you get the best possible deal for it? So now we see, okay, bye-bye, Don Lorenzo, we got enough. But yeah, the nice thing, when we buy him members. out, look at our funds here. We still have, we one get plenty of money from him, which gives us I'll enough money right to turn around, turn right you. around, and say, you know what, uh, maybe Doc would like to leave too. So we're just waiting for a little more cash to roll in, and you can see it's rolling in now. We, we are really truly in making money. There we go. Bye-bye, Doc. Now, that's that way we get rid of two of them. Now, you look here. Genius. Beatrix is pretty strong. She's She's got herself some uh, net worth. So she's going to be a big one. be interesting to see if we're able to 
to uh, buy her out as well. I think I know the answer. I think you do too, but uh, we'll have to wait until next time to find out where this, this is getting too long. So thanks again for joining and I hope you will come back for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.